overcame your adversity, uh-huh. overcame a loss, and what centered you and got you back to that, you know, to that victory to, to Buster? Uh, Buster. It was just I was hungry and I really I wanted to redeem myself. I still want to redeem myself against Tyson. It yeah. was it was such a big stage and to have that and uh, so I I just wanted to I didn't want to go out on that note and I was really so I I you know it was good I wound up getting a great opportunity I had a uh, beat. A couple of fringe guys, and then I wound up getting the opportunity to fight. Um, I wound up fighting um, Buster Douglas, Buster. and I, yeah, and I wound up beating him. So that was just it was huge, and it was just you know, uh, I won't want to say luck, but a lot of it is just you know things worked out right, and just you know you have to stay. And you, there's three ways to handle a loss: one is quit, mm-hmm. two is do the same thing you're doing, or three is make changes. And we made a lot of changes, and it was great. Uh, my trainer at the time, Al Bolden, he. he uh, Made my jab a lot better, a lot harder. It was really good. And the jab is a thinking man's punch, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, and I remember you talked about how um, uh, in the interview after the fight, you talked about how your weight training got yeah. beefed up. Yeah, yeah. I had a guy here in town. I remember my name was Tim Hallmark, and he was the one who put all the weight on Holyfield. And uh, so he was great. We, it was cool for the Douglas fight. As you know, there's always a game plan, but you don't know, rarely you know, does it work to a T. We, had, we did everything. We really – we watched this, and he would just – drop his left hand when mm-hmm. he threw the jab and we're like why doesn't people take advantage of it? we based our whole thing on doing that and i wound up catching with the right yeah, hand i was yeah. more surprised than he was man but because uh, it was one i saw is it was a one where you connected two times like you hit him and yeah. you you kind of you didn't and you hit him one more a time yeah, right like hand. right yeah right yeah. in the right hand and that yeah, was, he went down i was more surprised than him and i was so happy yeah yeah <laughs> and then that other one you connected on the uh man it's 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 so b- blocking like yeah. It's it's seems like there's no proper way to yeah. To, I mean, it's great. That's a good point you brought up because I mean everybody had a different. Um, you know everybody talks about punching, but blocking is when Foreman came back from his comeback. He had Archie Moore who scripted his whole comeback, gave him a jab, and gave him that that he used to call it the mongoose style, just covering up like this. You know, uh-huh. and Archie Moore scripted Foreman's comeback from a from a boxing standpoint. Yeah, because it seemed like when you when you I think you got the I think the best shot to, who knocked Buster when you got Buster, you seen he he had he is he was like this. Yeah. And when you came in, it seemed like you hit his glove, but it yeah. hit like right in that open area yeah. where he had it, and yeah. and that was yeah. a. Tyson got me with a. Uh, I had my hand up, but he still got me. On the I tempo. saw that yeah. he was doing like a squat jump because <laughs> you know Tyson, he like he shot, five yeah. four, yeah. and I saw him. He would like jump and punch because it was. I wish was... <laughs> he can punch too, man. He's too, he should have been one of the greatest. He is a great fighter. Yeah, he could yeah. have been one of the greatest ever. He's just he was a freak, man. I mean, there's guys that are strong and there's guys that are fast. He was one of the few guys really quick and really strong. You know, he could punch.